Hello and in this video I'll be showing you how to modify your your smart bro prepaid home Wi-Fi or also known as the Evolution FX ID3. We're gonna be modifying this thing by adding an external antenna or outdoor antenna connectors so that way we can get better reception indoors. Okay, so outdoors I get about two signal bars of LTE, but indoors I only get limited service and it's disconnected and yeah so by doing this modification i can connect this outdoor antenna that i have from my other router and by and as soon as we do this we should be getting two signal bars at least indoors just like we do outdoors i want to use this thing indoors not outdoors so yeah so if you want to improve your reception you can do this well there's a hole here so that way you can hang this by the window but that's not really an option for some people so but maybe this option will okay so the materials you're gonna need here are you're gonna need a U a ufl to to sma cable this will basically connect this one end here inside the circuit board on the router and the, uh, and the other end here obviously connects to the antennas okay the next thing you're gonna need here are you're gonna need some dual bits specifically well the multi-purpose one should do just fine and specifically you're gonna need a let's see here you're gonna need a one fourth bit here so there you go okay you're gonna need a like a marker or a permanent marker it doesn't matter which, which color as long as you can see it as long as you can see it easily when we mark this thing later you should be okay you're gonna need something thin and flexible such as a credit card or a gift card or something like this your thing here and then you're gonna need a also a box cutter or a cutter of some sort and then you're gonna need a working drill you'll also need a ruler and that's because before we do anything else we're gonna be using this thing to draw a line so basically our guide work to drill later okay so go ahead go ahead and line up your ruler like this like this somewhere over here and then after that you're gonna want to go and draw a line with the marker okay now go ahead and we're gonna be drawing two more lines going here and going here so if possible I would match it with the holes just to keep things consistent Like this, like this. Okay, once that's taken care of, you don't need the marker anymore. Now it's time to open this thing. So when you actually open this thing, you're gonna be, you're gonna be voiding your warranty. So keep that in mind. So it's your call if you wanna do this or not. If you're, if you bought this thing more than a year ago already, your warranty is already void and you can easily do this. But if you still have warranty and you're not comfortable doing this, don't do it. Again, it's your call. So you're gonna need your box cutter, your knife or whatever, your blade or whatever. And then you'll also need that little, that thin plastic. Okay, now go on this side and then go ahead and shove your 
cutter in there gently and downward so when you shove it you're gonna go like this like this on a 45 degree angle so go ahead and I would start here in the middle because right here you do have the you do have the internal antennas and just and you don't want to damage them just in case you want to undo this mod and use the internal antennas again okay so start here in the middle and go downwards okay so once you got that in go ahead and take your thin piece of plastic and shove it next to the cutter and okay once that's in you're gonna want to go to go ahead and slide this piece of plastic throughout the perimeter of the of the router so and if you're having any difficulty go ahead and lift this up a little bit so you can let the plastic go through and again do this thing as gently as you can but give it enough just enough force and again use your hand to lift this to yank it out a little lift this up a little to let this plastic go through okay so eventually you'll get the plastic you'll get the back cover off and then on this side you're gonna go ahead and disconnect these two antennas that goes into the internal antennas and the nice thing about this there you, you don't need to solder anything so if you want to if you want to reverse this mod and use the internal antennas again you can actually do that so just do it gently and that's disconnected now go ahead and grab your drill and we're gonna be drilling now okay so in order to do this go ahead and start with a smaller bit okay so in my case i'm gonna go with 316 and once i'm done with the 316 i'm gonna go ahead and continue with the one fourth with the one fourth bit Okay, so we now have a nice hole here. Now the next thing we're gonna do here is, well, let's just go ahead and do the other side. So that way we don't have to switch bits multiple times. We only have to do it two times. So I'm gonna do the other one. Okay, so we now have these two we now have this we now have these two holes now let's go ahead and switch bits so so we're now going from the 316 one to the 141 to the bigger bit Okay, we are now done with the drill. Now what you want to do here is go ahead and just clean this off a little. Now go ahead and 
take your SMA to UFL cable and loosen the nut on the one end on the gold on this side. You can now pull it in the hole where you drilled earlier. I already got one done so I'm just gonna do the other one like so. So I'm gonna put it in there and and then go ahead take that nut you took earlier and screw it in place. Once you got those two antenna connectors in place, go ahead and connect go ahead and connect both of them on the board. It doesn't matter which one is which, just connect them. And once you are done, go ahead and close it. Before you close it though, make sure to bend this wire a little bit so you so you can actually close this thing easily. Just don't bend it too much or else it may stop working. I got this thing closed up so now we can now connect our antenna or outdoor antenna okay there we go and let's apply power on the router and see if we now get better reception. We are now booted up and as you can see here, we are now connected and when you look at the status bar, 4G LTE, 2 bars. So yep, we did it. We now, we are now getting coverage indoors. And now, if you decide to take this somewhere and you don't have an outdoor antenna, you can either open this up and connect the internal the internal antennas, or you can get one of those in one of those antenna that looks like a stick. So I'll go ahead and you can get one of those from Amazon, Lazada, or Shopee. So yeah, so anyway, this is it for this video. Thank you for watching.